Good evening. Good evening. All right. My name is Jason Curry, and I'm the president of Big Apple Basketball and the founder, which basically means that I started the organization. I had an idea of something that I wanted to do, and I started it. So I'm not working for anybody else. I run my own company. I run my own business, and I've been doing it since 1999. I've known Coach Stan for many, many years. We were in high school at the same time, and I knew who he was as a player. We actually played on Operation Athlete together, went on a touring team, uh, someone who I, have, who I have a lot of respect for, okay? Um, I played high school basketball, and I also played college basketball. Um, I played in College of Vermont, St. Michael's College in Vermont. I was inducted into the Hall of Fame at my college. I graduated, um, man, few records. I graduated as number one all-time uh, leader in three-point field goal percentage, uh, number one all-time in free throw percentage. I graduated as the college's career assist leader. I graduated number three in steals and a lot of records. Um, and I was inducted into the college's Hall of Fame in 2009. Um, with that being said, obviously now I understood what it takes to become a college basketball player. And just kind of putting myself in your shoes and remembering when I was 12, 13, 14, 15 years old. One of the things that I would say first and foremost would be to understand that you don't know everything. Because at your age, in your particular world and in your particular bubble, you might feel like you know it all. But the reality is that because your world has been so limited up to this point, there are people who you are going to come in contact with who are going to have more experience and advice and knowledge. So what I would say is first and foremost is be receptive to understanding people who have been where you're trying to go to understand that, well, if there were... If they've been where I'm trying to go, let me at least try to listen and gain some wisdom from them. Okay? So I want you to do me a favor. I even want you to sit there. Matter of fact, yeah, we're gonna start with that right now. Thank you, appreciate that. So, from a basketball standpoint, just kind of piggybacking off of what Coach Sean said, there's hard work. And I would just say from a basketball standpoint, just try to be a sponge. Try to learn as much as you can. But what happens is, is that from a basketball standpoint, in order to play in college, in order to play in college, college coaches only select and recruit and offer scholarships to the best of the best. So simply put, on every level of college, everybody was all league, at minimum. Everybody was, and then as you move up, everybody is all city. Then as you move up the ladder, everybody's all American. So now when I talk about kind of within your own little bubble that you're living in, so you might wanna say, okay, well, what's the first thing? How do I gauge myself against the competition? College, everybody, when you get to college, everybody was all something. So that, that's just, that's just a, a basic foundation and base, okay? Then we talk about academics. In order to get into college, just even talk, talking about basketball, college coaches have to be able to be able to get you admitted into the college. So you can be a great basketball player, but if your grades aren't in order, then one of two things are gonna happen. Either you're not gonna be able to get into a four year institution, or you're gonna to have to go to junior college for two years because your grades aren't strong enough. So what happens now is, is that as a student athlete, if I'm a college coach, tell me your name. Troy. Troy. And I want Troy to come to my school, I'm gonna to need to get all of his academic stuff, his paperwork, his transcripts, all of that stuff. And now I have to go into my college's admission office. And I have to present his academic paperwork. And they're gonna tell me either one of two things. 
Either we can get him in or no good. So it's beyond what I want as a basketball coach. I want you as a basketball player, but I have to be able to present you to my institution and say, I can at least get you in the school. So now they say, I can get you in the school. Now everything kind of falls in place in terms of the basketball. Your grades are a little shaky. There's, there's nothing I can do with you. Well, I like you as a basketball player, but your grades aren't strong enough. And what happens is, is that, and I'm speaking from my own personal experience. In high school, I went to five high schools in five years. Because I got kicked out of so many schools. I went to a Catholic school. I went to private school on Long Island. I went to a public school. And I went to boarding school. So there's nothing anybody can tell me about any type of school. I, I've, I've done it all. So what happens is, is within the New York, by a show of hands, how many of you are in the New York City public school system? By a show of hands. Okay. A large majority of people. So when I was in high school, passing grade was a 65. Guess what passing grade is today? What's passing? 65. For the most part, 65. So now when I was in high school, my goal was, what's everybody's goal? To what? It starts with a P. To pass. To pass. That's the goal. To pass. But now when it's time to get into college, the requirements academically for college are so much different than it is just passing is that as high school basketball players, if you just spend your time trying to pass, and everybody gets excited when, when you don't fail anything. I remember I used to feel like the man. man I, I passed everything. That was, that was like an accomplishment. And I was getting 65, 66, 67, 68, 69. But I passed. <laughs> but now when it's time for that college coach to go into that office, and bring your transcript and your paperwork, man, for the most part, you really need to be at about an 85 and above. So these are things I didn't really learn and, and understand until I got to boarding school. So now, for, if you're really serious about it right now, you, especially in the New York City public school system, I, I, I'd say I'd be trying to get 85 and 90. If, if your goal is to play in college, if your goal is to not go junior college, if your goal is to have a coach who can recruit you and, and walk into that missions office and say, I can get Troy in. Not because he passed, but because he's a qualified student in order to get in. And then the last thing I'll leave you with is attitude and people in your circle. So again, I'm a college coach. You're a good basketball player. I'm able to get you into my school academically, but now the next thing is my personal relationship with you. I start to recruit you. I start to get to know you. I want to know what kind of guy you are. I want to know what kind of girl you are. I want to know what your crew is like. I'm following you on social media. I'm watching your lives. So now it's about how you carry yourself as a person. I mean, it's, it's basically like a job interview. You're on social media. People are following you. People are pulling you up on the gram, on Snapchat. College coaches do this. You're in a basketball game. A college coach is sitting in the crowd, and here's another one. You have a family member, a supporter, complaining to the coach about, yo, how come a man ain't getting in the game? Da, 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 da. Yo, 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 yo. Well, now, if I'm a college coach, and I'm hearing your people in the stands, and yo, yo, come on, man, put your coat on. Yo, we out, we out, man, come on, we out. Yo, we ain't got time for this. Is that somebody that I want to recruit? Because what's going to happen when times get hard when you come to me? It's going to be the same thing. You're going to be calling home. Your support system, the first thing that they're going to say is when times get hard, not to fight through it, not to work hard, not to be patient, not to wait your turn, but yo, we out. So I'll just leave you with those nuggets for right now, okay?